Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Jalo, for having me. Uh, this is the first time to have this kind of interview at the Echo TV. Um, my, my name is Mr. Chan Video, uh, the National Youth President of the GDC. I'm a politician, the same time a Gambian, a private citizen. Sometimes I used to have interview, not in my party line, but as a private citizen, to express my opinion and my concerns towards the development of this country. Mr. Chan, um, let's begin with the party. Um, what does the GDC stand for as a political party? The GDC as a party, we stand for to empower the young people and the women of this country. And we have been embarking on a lot of projects uh, nationwide to help the communities, uh, sponsoring the students to the universities, helping the poor farmers. And we have been embarking, I think we have changed the political climate of this country as a GDC. We have been seeing that since the when Jamie was here. We hardly see a political party contribute your call towards national development because GDC is just in that kind of politics. Politicians will just come to you from there, just sell their agenda when they go to Ericsson, when they lost the election from there, you even see the politicians. But as GDC, we have been supporting the communities uh, nationwide. Uh, a lot of projects have been embarked by the GDC. Good. And you, you've just said that um, this is a politics with difference um, from the GDC. Okay. And um, people, what would you say to people that would say um, GDC are doing this actually just for favors from people? What would you say? No, we are, not, we are not doing this just for favors from people. Because people, people are saying are the are bogles and all that. What is bogles yeah. happening? Yeah, I think we have installed almost 100 million bogles nationwide. Mm -hmm. And I think that if people are saying that we are doing it just for a political points, I will disagree with them because all our projects have been given out to the community by the time we even have the elections. If you look at Banyu, our new project was in Banyu and we lost all the elections in Banyu, both the mayor and the council and the chairman. We, we, as a government, we have right to continue our court, whether they vote for us or not. What are the guarantees that if we give them the board they will vote for you? There's no guarantee. The board that you are insulted with the communities, everybody is there to support, uh, to, 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 to use the board, whether you are in UDP or you are in GDC or you are in APRC. But there is no guarantee that can tell you that these people in this bowl, or if some of their students say they, they will vote for you. There is no guarantee. But you just do your quota as a national development, towards national development. Now, MC, um, let me put it to you that um, there are a lot of people that say um, your party are really doing these things to gain uh, votes. But can you tell me that really this is not a motive also for getting votes? No, it's not about motive. It's about you're just doing your, your quota towards national development. I just tell you that there is no guarantee that if you give them a vote, they will vote for you. But don't you, you want the votes? Don't you want the votes? As a political party, you need votes. You need the numbers. But it's about numbers. It's about people. So it's whether you support them or not. People know that if you want a job, you, you want people are helping you. So the very best thing that you can support them that you are advocating for development. So, and GDC is there to develop, to give you development. Why do you support GDC? But we are not doing, doing that based on political line or political points. So this is not about politics, not this about is politics. about contributing It's about to do a quarter of national development. It's about to help the communities. As far as we can do it, why not the political party can do it? So um, how many communities have you helped so far? I think nationwide, from Bangkok to Kwaima, we have continued our quarters. MC, um, also, this is, um, you say nationwide, but um, a lot of people have been complaining about the combos, that um, you guys are not doing anything within the combos. Uh, what do you have to say? No, I think you are a journalist. When they are saying that we are not doing nothing to combos, I, I, I will say no, we have got to be not to combos. Our biggest project is in Banyu. What is that point? Banyu. If you look at Banyu, the drain system, it was Gilles who was there to help, me, to help them to make in the drain system in Banyu. If you look at Ibo towns, we support them by a lot of power of cements within the most and the cemetery in Ibo towns. In Bakau, we control the road there towards the, towards the cemetery in Bakau. We also help, uh, we also install cotton bowl in Vespos. And you look at the Gambia College, we sponsor them. Uh, when they were there, was no chair for Gambia College. We them to have a chair. They spent there almost $100,000 in Gambia College. Okay. Yeah. Um, MC, um, how is this? impacting in the life of people how is it helping people ah, water is key water is key 
you can you can sit without electricity. There's no problem. You can sit without what? It's the one problem. So I think that uh, that one is it. Every government should welcome GDC support. I think it's a very, it's a very, everybody should acknowledge our contributor. What is the key? Yes. That's why when people are saying that what are the programs of the GDC, what are the benefits of the GDC, I say our program is to give our people what? Those are programs. <laughs> are you guys stopping just for water? Of course, water is the key. Because, because um, if you go to other areas, no, they even have water. Um, MC and Trump. for the past 10, 60, up to now, some of the areas even have clean water. Because of yes. the water, that's why what, clean water is key as you said, yeah. but don't you think there are other um, means also you can help uh, individuals? Like, let me say, um, people on a daily basis, sometimes they don't even have what to eat. Of course, we are. So we don't do. you think um, is, no, is also... I think as a political party, mm -hmm. we have a little money, a little fund within ourselves. That, uh, that's what we are sharing with our people, mm -hmm. to support the people. I so think your, your target is water? It's not about water, we, we, about any case, about health. You empower me, we empower the young people, we give them the How chance. How do you empower the young people? If we look at the party as a GDC as a party, we have the youngest party in the area. We have the 90% of our candidates, they are all young people. We empower the young people. If you look at the community of the ethnic community in GDC, 60% of the parents of the GDC are all young people. We give them the opportunities. But are your executive members empowered? Of course, they have been empowered. They have been supported How by the party. How are they empowered? Some of them, they, they have the scholarship of going to the university. The executive members? Of course. Can you give me names? No, I couldn't disclose their name. No, but if you that's have, what, if you have, that's, um, that's what I cannot. That's not what I cannot. No, I, cannot I cannot disclose their Mr. name. Mr. Cham. But within the GDC Executive Committee, everybody is even uh, empowered by, by the party. You are there. The party will not even empower you. You say you have to empower the party. <laughs> because we are opposition party. So we are here to govern the party. So we cannot just there to support our will. Our say. For me, personal, for me, as MC, before the GDC, how do we give you money? Why not give to the community? So for, for you, MC Chan, before um, Honorable Candace would give you money, mm -hmm. he rather give it to, to the, the, the community. Yeah. To help right. what's killing what? Okay. That was this... everybody will benefit from, from that, from, okay. from the what? But, but, but not uh, to give me as individual, to give me 50,000, 100,000 for what? Why why the community are suffering for uh, having the clean water? Okay, so now, um, let me put it this way. Um, you as the executive don't need any empowerment. I see, we have an empowerment. Oh, you already have, have the empowerment. Yeah, so that, those are the ones yeah. going to the university. Of course. Of course but you, yeah. you, you, uh, you are declining from giving me names. Oh, I will, I will disclose their names. No, but this I, might be, I might be part of it. You might be part I of might it. Might be part are you of going it. to the university? I don't know, but I might be supported by the party different, different from the university. Okay. And I have been supported by the GDC. Okay, great. And the leaders of the GDC. I benefit from the leaders of the GDC. Great. Okay, uh, Mr. Cha. Um, People say your campaign line is based in the provinces. They say that um, you, you're not doing anything when it comes to motivating people, especially youth, in this in this area of the, the country that is within the combos. How true is this? How, how, what, what's your the party? Okay, the party. The party I, I think uh, people used to forget. GDC was established in 2016, six months before we go to elections. By that time, we have a lot of followers in the compost. Many of them don't even have photos cards. We tried not as a party. It was not easy by that time. Even some people didn't to join the GDC people. It was a tough time to come and say that I'm part of the GDC. Uh -huh. Even to have a full member as a compost was a problem. We have to struggle it before we reach the IEC. We have many followers. People we are following the GDC, young people are following. But the garments we are not having the courage that they can defeat them through ballot box. That's why many people don't even have the photos card. But as for now, Whenever I see another video with a good scar, you will see a number of support base in GDC in Compass. When we are you nominated as um, uh, elected as the um, national youth president? I was elected last year at Congress. So um, we have a lot of youths within the country, mm. and especially um, within the Compass. I am talking about the Compass a lot of because course, mm. um, a lot of complaints are really. Right now, from right the now we have a very strong support base in Comos. Now, as you as the youth president, what's your support base on? Right now, so is nationwide. We are the biggest party in this country. Are you sure about we that? We are the biggest party in this country. Well, UDP will say they are the biggest. Don't you think so? Look at the records. We have the records. But Last Mr. Chan, don't you records. think UDP is the biggest party? Last election is there. UDP have 40% with the support of President Bob. Local government elections, the mayor and the councils and the chairman. You need to have 25% without supporting the president. 
So you are saying you are going to beat UDP. The party is increasing, it's growing fast. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, our records, during the presidency of Kande has 70%. Nelson Assembly has 70%. No, we have been 5%. We increase member of Nelson Assembly, our seat, 13 seats. We have 5. But local government, after local government, we have 13. And during Nelson Assembly, our previous experience was that we, so we will have 70% and we have 5. But local government, we have 13. So the party is growing fast. And everybody is supporting the party. Because we are developing, we are having a lot of people in this country, a lot of community in this country. So, as we are the biggest party, many people like it or not, that may have deserted, but look at the next person, we are going to stay happy. Mr. Chang, um, how many youth political rallies have you held with, since your existence as oh. a, the youth president? You know, people are saying the youth political rally. Political party organized rallies. When you organize rally, you embody okay. your man. You embody your means, and everybody comes on board. I want you to know your own activities as the of youth course, president. As a youth president of the GDC, we have a lot of programs. That which we have organized. We have a seminars, a lot of conference, public speaking, having our, our young people within the party, give them the opportunities. We feel that as a young, as a, as a, as a, as a opposition party, because we don't have a lot of resources that we have to empower. No, we are an opposition party, we have been struggling to, because other countries, the government is subvention to the political parties, but government, you don't see that. You've got to select the opposition party, has to from their government. And this present government, they were cutting for that. That whenever they take it, whenever they even jam it, they will also give some answer to the opposition party because you now you that there's no proper reform at the IEC. Mm. So right now we are struggling with little more that we are having when we are contributing as a party with our supporters, both at the diaspora and the, and the Gambia, that the more that we are also trying to organize programs and seminars with our members to empower them, support them in other way, other areas. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chair, um, we are, um, I want us to talk about a little bit about your activities. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper. Mm -hmm. As you said, you said um, you organizing a lot of programs to help or engage the youth. Mm -hmm. And um, are you in any way engaging the media to make sure that we are also aware of what is happening? So that at least uh, these are things that you can engage the media to be um, 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 to go to the public. No, so we have would no, know. Our, our because most of the people don't know the activities that the youth are doing within the GDC. Our disadvantage as GDC is our media. Sorry for saying that, but they are very biased towards GDC. How would you say that? If, anybody read, say if, that? if anyone leaves GDC, they just write it from 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 pay. But if you will come to join GDC, they will write it. Right now, we have a new vice, a deputy party leader. Who is the deputy party leader? Uh, honorable Tina Fan. None of the media houses print, uh, it's just uh, publicity. But did you meet in? Of course, did you, did you I inform all the media houses. I even sent them the article, but they didn't publish it. But if someone leaves GDC, they will just write it for a page. That's why when I go to the property, they ask me, what, what are the products of the GDC? I just laugh. We have been putting a lot of things, or 100 living bubble have been installed in this country. But still, people are asking us, what, where are the products of the GDC? Go to Gambia College, go to the university. We have been cutting a lot in this country, but see now people are asking, our problem is our the journalists. We have an organizing program, they will just they will just feel like if they won't come, they will come, but how can they, they sometimes they, they will even publish it. They can even cover it, but they will publish it. But if someone leaves GDC tomorrow front page, and those guys, they don't even contribute nothing to the party. Some of them, they are just the name of a member of the committee. But they don't even deliver, they can't even bring one people to, to the party. But, but why they would just you have name, someone They don't even name of a member of the committee, but they were not delivering. Many of them, that's why I tell the President Barrow that those who are leaving GDC coming to the, your party, NPP or NPP, tell them let them bring five people from the GDC. They this is what I wanted place. to talk to you about. Um, recently, I heard in an audio that a woman was talking and saying that um, there are members of um, your party that left the party and went to NPP uh, from the provinces. I think uh, Bansan to the president. I saw that well for you. I asked the individual, can you give me the videos of those people? Because NPP, they are desperate of having members. Right now, they are, there is a power struggle within themselves, their, their parties, because they have the same committee of their parties. They are willing to have them have been appointed or by President Barrow. But still now, they don't have a member of the executive committees. You will just see from people outside, just call, call them now, now, just tell them that, just tell, tell the cameraman that we are from GDC. Now we have cross to to, to 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 NDP. You cannot control your supporters. Supporters have right to, to, to build any political party. Only, so, you can only control your executive committee members. Both at the regional and the SD committee center to come. For so what is normal? You can be here today, tomorrow, you can go outside. So, do they move from the GDC to NPP? It's not true. I don't see the video. Okay. 
So like it's, it's just evidence. allegations. Just allegations. No, no evidence. Recently, recently I have the one, one from, from DP uh, forum. One guy was saying that GDC uh, uh, chairman in Nomi have to scroll up to UDP. When we really verify, it was not even true. The guy was from UDP. So it's more of just misleading information uh, to the social media. But what I'm telling the products about that people can live today and to every day people are coming to join GDC. When GDC was registered, we have made people live in APR and come to GDC. So we expect people to live in GDC and go to other parties. And at the same time, people are coming to the party. But so as for now, we are fasted half each other. So before, before um, closing that chapter, um, do, do the GDC have any intentions in um, colliding with any political party for the elections? No. The election is there. As for now, we are working towards the election. Uh, in the future, nobody knows what is going to happen whether it's coalition or not, but I cannot say no. But as, as GDC, we are preparing to go to elections and how do we carry our candidates. Okay. So, so the GDC is going as the GDC as for now? For now, but I cannot rule out any but, coalition, three of coalitions. Okay. Now, um, I want us to talk a little bit about the constitution, the draft constitution. Um, that is the new draft constitution. And let's talk about a little bit about this thing. Um, do you think this, uh, this, this constitution favors the president? It's not about favoring the president. I disagree about that. It's not about the president. It's about the government people. Today you can be, you can be president, tomorrow you can be the president. Where is the argument now? Where is the national constitution? It's not about the borough. It's about the government people. We have been crying for elder reform for the past 22 years. Now we have elder reform with ourselves. We have to go plus to two time limits. Why do we go for it? From there, whoever is coming to president, we can make all, all the amends of the concern. I have no issue about this new concern. Because the amount of money that has been spent, 160 million is too much. It's not wrong just having go with the Nazi concern. We make a lot of amendments from the Nazi concern. From there, we just plan for the ground. Six months, we have a new concern. But after all, spending 160 million. And now this draft concern is having been rejected by the federal government. It's not about the gun people. It was rejected but, by the uh, government. Uh, we, we saw, we saw in this constitution, the draft constitution. We saw Se Humbalo in an interview saying that um, this doesn't favor. Uh, they are, they are, they are doing things um, according to what they want mm -hmm. to favor others, not to favor the president. Um, do you really think um, this is the case? This is why no, I think, am coming from. Uh, we unfortunately we have an advice that they are even advising the president. We know that, that's why I say that the, the draft constitution was rejected by the government, not, about, not the government people. Because those who draft the constitution, they are the first people who draft to, to, to fail. Because you need to have 50% of vote turn up to come and vote for the referendum. Last election, we have 50%, no government elections. We need to have 75% of the government who should say yes, that we need the constitution, we need a new constitution. You're going to have that. And right now, right now, President have Gassad the draft concern. People have been complaining that when he did the Gassad the draft now he has voted draft. Gassad, those are all cover up, mind game. Because we know that the, 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 the borough government, they will reject the concern. But they cannot come out and reject it. They, now they will use the National Assembly members to block it. Because you need to have 75% of the National Assembly to vote for yes. Those 75% is about 44 MPs. 16 members of parliament can block it. And Barack Obama have the 16 members of the parliament. He has the 16 has members. This. Yes, you can ask him. How? He have eight from the UDP that have been expelled from the UDP. NLP is five. We have no MMP two and few others. The 16s. But do you think it's constitutional for the for them to be expelled from the UDP and then join Barack? Of course, they have the right because me personally, I don't feel like if GDC our MPs, you have been sponsored by the party campaign for you. Do everything for you. You have to betray you, betray you on your own party and support the president. For what? How come your family support the president? For what? You think it's not right? It's not right. What do you think is, is the cause? They should be loyal to their party and the country. Because of the party, that's why they are member of parliament. None of the MPs at the assembly, if, if they start to on an independent ticket, they will win. But don't you think they went up till to a stage uh, that they think maybe what is going on? Is, 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 is something that they cannot continue with? As a party, let them sit down together and discuss it amicably. But you're going to go out and support an support independent president who is undermining your own party. Mm -hmm. That's why this draft condition, it has been rejected by the borough government, not about the opposition party, not about the campaigns. After all, spending $160 million is 
for this draft council. Now they will use the parliamentarians to block it. That's why we are now having a serious problem. I see that Gambia will also have, will remain this nice civil concern. So you think that the 97 constitution is going to remain? As for now. As for now. Mm. Okay, so um, what do you think? What's the impact that you might uh, think it is going right, to Right now, we always, need, we, need, we, always, we need to have a plan B that we always use IEC when we have the electoral reform or laws so that we can have 12 block and 2 times limit to be passed at the assembly just for temporary. So from there, we have some elections, we support having no condition. But as for now, Baro's government are not happy with the draft condition. And this condition is not about Baro, it's about the government people. But many political parties are also going out against the draft conditions. What do you think about the Jani Commission? The Jani Commission is about selective and bias. Selective and bias? And bias. Because if you look right. at the recommendations from the Jani Commission, some people have been banned. Some people have a to, to, to work to the government, but they are working still now with the government. If you look at the DG protocol and the ICC and Mambur and and maybe the new secretary and Lua and Lua, two years ago. It's about Yajemi and Mursa and others. Okay, so um, um, what about Jame's asset that we are sold? It was sold illegally. Illegally? So um, I was having an interview and I, I asked the government. To return all the uh, assets of Jamie back. They, they need to follow the due process. So, due process was, was not followed. Before they established the Jamie Commission, they, they start stealing the, uh, the, the Baros, uh, Jamie assets. You, as an opposition party, what was your stand? Did you speak up? Of course, with GDC, we make a press release that we uh, want the government, let them do everything in right, let them follow the due process. And you cannot uh, uh, seize all the Jamaican assets and you don't even follow the due process. When Jamaican was seizing Jamaican assets, uh, Jawa assets in 94, if we, uh, we have an AMRC, all the assets should be controlled by AMRC, not the means of justice. If you are a journalist, you don't even know where the assets are You need to follow the due process. So, due process. But the, the commission was established mm -hmm. before they started the work. The proper war, they have started selling the Jamaican Jam 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 assets. Do you think Jamie can have a victory in this? Of course, he can, he can, have, he can, have, he can have his lawyer. Despite his legal he can have his expert, legal expert, he can defend him his, his behalf. But I think, as a government, as a democratic um, government, they need to follow the due process. Uh, we, we saw in an, um, I think, an interview also where the, um, the UDP party, mm. um, what is his name again? Um, uh, I forgot his name. Tal, Tal Mr. Tal, mm. where he said um, this is something that they need to continue doing, that is selling of the assets. It's very unfortunate. Tal is a legal man passing that I respect so much. I was very disappointed when I read this today. Tal was saying that you cannot be a leader or someone just about a Musa. It's not about emotion, it's about following the due process. And hence he's part of the UDP, he's the spokesman of the UDP. He needs to follow the due process as a political party. But you cannot follow what happened to this country. It's about everything, it's about Jamie, you just come, you just follow your emotions. But you are not following the due process. So Tal is angry. Tal is angry, and that's why you cannot you cannot go for a country in that and the angry way. Now, MC Jam, I'm going to ask you this question um, regarding the MPP still. Um, do you think these people have um, structures? Do you think everything is okay within the party? No, there, there is no proper structure for, for MPP as a political party. Uh, and still, now there is more struggle in themselves uh, to have a good the committee for, as a political party. Still, now they have it. They are only two people who is running the DDD affair of the party. Who are those? Uh, you have the, the member, the, the admin secretary, and the national treasurer, who is the minister of law, government, and land, uh, Mr. Trani. They are only two of them. But still, now, we are now going out to, expand, or to, to, to restructure their committees nationwide. But we are in a state of emergency, so how, how is that possible? No, that's why I'm saying this for the state of emergency for me is only the advantage of the government and the MPP. Uh, it's safe, they are. It's an emergency just to help them themselves to go outside. They discover their communities while political parties will sit down. 
just as they do the rules and rules of this as an emergency. But for us, MPP as government, they are still following, going out, uh, restructuring their committees nationwide, both at the region and the country level. But Mr. Chen, do you have proofs of this? Of course, I have the evidence. Whatever I say, I have evidence. Uh, right now, yesterday, they were in Champagne, uh, and they were yesterday, they were in Bansan, having meetings. Uh, to restock their communities nationwide. But do you think this is uh, according to the law? Because this is this is a state of public emergency, and the president uh, 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 declared this. So, what do you think? Why uh, do you think that the president will go behind uh, we, we have and have him having uh, uh, going around the country to restructure his? No, right now we are in a banana state uh, because we have <laughs> seen. When you say banana state, what do you mean? Of by course, banana it's state? Interesting, it's interesting in the interest of the individual. What individual? What he want to do, he will just do it. He's the president. We have been seeing when he was one about to go to Basse, he just leave the this uh, some, of the, uh, some of the uh, the, the uh, regulations, regulations mm -hmm. like uh, to open the mosque and the church. Mm -hmm. We I think I have been complaining that he had high times of open the mosque and the church. We haven't seen that doing that. I, I think Baro is just making all this money for his interest, his political parties, but not for the Gambia. But what is about Gambia? All our cases that they are seeing, we have any case, is all our important case, not local case. So why don't we just control our borders? Uh, we, we just enforce the, the laws so that we can have the expert at the borders, but the police and immigration, let them control the borders. So, so you are um, um, saying that this the the state uh, the, the public state of emergency favors the president and he and is doing this and his party. Yeah. And he is doing this to make sure that um, to silence the other parties. Is this what I just of course, and, 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 and don't be surprised, they're going to play the elections, 2021 elections, because of this. Uh, because, because of, of this. Uh, yeah, so this uh, because of this COVID 19, I don't know how people are saying. Mm -hmm. I know it's a real, but in Gambia, a lot of questions need to be answered by Do the Do you government. believe that Gambia has it? Gambia, for me, a lot of questions. It's a real, I know, but in Gambia, a lot of questions need to be answered by the government and the Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. So, what, what, what are some of those And questions? don't be surprised. Don't be surprised, they want to blame elections. Because we, everybody knows that Barat have already failed. We cannot do anything. What are some of the questions that you think the ministries have answered? Yeah, because we are, we are, we are seeing people have been arrested that you have the virus. What do you are seeing? Why, why should they, they should arrest you? And people are denying openly that they have the virus. So you think he's a company? And right now people are very soon every day they say now someone have recovered, they have leaked these people, they have recovered. So I think right now we have only they five up. No, I don't know actually whether it's cook or what a lot of questions need to be answered. And you don't you are not convinced. You don't just go and make so you make a fine problem. No, but MCGM as an individual is not convinced that the Gambia has the cases. No, I, I couldn't say I am not convinced. But what I'm saying no, I'm Mr. Chan, uh, Mr. Chan, let's, I let's, 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 let's me. go straight you to the point. No, I'm not actually posing yes. you to say something that you're not supposed to say. Mm -hmm. You are the same person that says we have a lot of questions, mm -hmm. or the ministry has a lot of questions to answer. To answer so, yeah. um, um, you as an individual, then you are not convinced that we have this... Uh, we can have it, but, but we can have it, but the Minister of the Health should answer all questions. Mr. Chan, um, let's talk about your party leader, mm -hmm. Elio. Um, about his decree. A lot of people are talking about him, saying, oh, others are saying Mama Kande don't have a degree, and others are saying Mama Kande has a degree, online degree, and this is something that's controversial on social media. What do you have to tell us? As Imagine, a youth uh, some people were asking me whether if the draft concern had been passed, if it passed Mama Kande would be disqualified. I said no. Mama Kande made the requirement of answering the concern, at the same time, he had a decent draft concern. He had a degree. So I think people are just saying Mama Kande does not have a degree or that. But any time when we go to elect or nomination, people see the Mama Kande degree at the eyes. He had a degree. Finally, I see, um, we've seen a lot of political parties right now in this country. Um, I think it should be 11 now. I think it's 40 though. Uh, or oh, more. more yeah. So, um, what do you think? Do you think this is healthy for this country? No, governments have decided. What have they decided? It's only for political parties. We have a woman. Yeah, she has the right. She joined the race. She has the right to, oh, she she have right to, to join the she race. Have, she have the right to see that I want to contest, I want to go for elections. Have the right to see that you want to go for elections. And you have, you have, you have the requirement of the IEC. And she's a Gambian. She has the right to say that I want to support this person. I want to start an independent ticket. 
you have the rest. Mr. Liam, do you think assistance a chance? I see government have that. It's only for political class. So see, 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 you are telling me that. And right now, uh -huh. if at all you don't even, you're going to have 5%, forget about having Minister of Police positions. Is that from Mr. Chan? What happened to um, uh, GMC and GBDP? From nowhere you have Minister Post, Jerry Kuro have Minister Post. It's over now in this in, in New Gambia. You need to go out, make sure you struggle hard to have five percent before you have Minister Post. Not about just being a girl just coming from a political party to have Minister Post and it's over now. You have to struggle hard. So you are telling me that um Marisol don't stand a chance. Because if you say there it's are only, only four, four it's only four parties, five political Which are the political parties? Good. I know that GDC is for UDP is for APRC that MPP is just for the for just for the incumbent. It's for. But you believe MPP have a stand? No, I don't think they are no. It's not like they are they are incumbent. You have to respect them, and the president will have to respect the president. They are incumbent. But it's GDC is number one. We have the UDP and the APRC. Do you think next election the president will win? But it's zero. That's why it's about last. So everything. But you can have ten percent in this country. You can have ten percent. Are you sure about this? You can have ten percent. The guy is taking a lot of your supporters. Supporters. You're not a member of the government. You can't even be invited to come. If if I if I cross the border to Morocco, I supposed to be in Morocco five from the GDC. So him taking supporters from your your party is irrelevant. It's not the supporters. They are members of the committees. Everybody can pass. Some of them, they even part of the community. They even, they, they even continue. Not, nothing to do with the GDC as a party. It's not only using the equation of, uh, the equation of X and X. But you are even delivering as as, 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 as a committee. But as what I'm talking about, if I told you they are from GDC, they probably don't tax them. They're not going to bring five people from the GDC. But as for now, governments have said it. It's this for political parties. All political parties, you cannot, you can, you can show your interest that you want to contest for elections. But you need to have a stock, you need to have a base. It's not about money and Sirikunda. It's about Nixon White. Sitting down here in Scombo said, I, I want to go for elections. You don't even have stock. Even right now, even I see. I see. I see. According to even you, I see. They, are, they are going around the nation and uh, established. That's why they have to be before, before you say your party, you have all the stock in place. Before we say GDC, we have all our stock in place. Up to now, we have all the committee. Even I see is returning now. They should be because of all these political parties. GMC, GBP, even NRP. Why would they do that? They don't even have the requirements of the IS electoral law 2015. The eight party need to have office nationwide. They don't even have it. And it's a law. But the GDC have all this. Of course, that's why I tell IEC that right now put your house order. Are you telling me the house in uh, the, the house of the IEC is it's not in order? order. They are just there to organize their affairs and they don't even control the political parties. It's not about just organizing elections, but it's about the how they are operating. But all these political parties, even GFA, NRP, they went to Congress, they have to as a committee, they have to be they have to write to ICE again. To, to ICE extend the other three months so they can have to as a committee. Is that right? Thank you very much, Mr. Chan, um, for what I say. <laughs> Thank you very much um, and for honoring our invitation from Echo TV. And this is all that we have for you um, from us, Echo TV. This is your soul that comes your way every week. The Point. I am your presenter, Peter Yao.